Howdy, Possum Patty here, and this is my new summer journal. Sandy toes and salty kisses. So, come on along. Big mess on the table because I'm getting ready to do two fun pages in my summer journal. Sandy toes and salted kisses. And first of all, I have a postcard from some friends who went to Alaska. And I just love this picture of this old car, this gentleman with the beard driving the old car through Alaska. And so I have this little clear envelope and I'm going to slip it inside there and maybe sew around the edge or something. And then I have some pages from a Tim Holtz pad. And this one's really cool. It's like um, all different postcards. One from each of the 50 states. Or I have this other paper that has these fun old cards and images on it. So um, maybe I'll put part of that and part of that and Put this on there and just have a fun page with some correspondence from some friends. And then, oh, I have this one too. And then I have, I talked about this I think one other day. And that was doing a pirate page. Because that's a summer thing, pirates, right? And this is from my old book called Chums, which is an English book that was printed in England, 1938. And I just love this color of the paper. It's aged so well. And the illustrations are awesome. And I'm using that in my journals. And I have this picture of my son when he was a pirate. I'm thinking about cutting him out and putting him over here with the pirates. I bet you I could do that, right? Put him right in here and last of the pirates. Maybe put this on something, some kind of background, and get this page together over here. So what do I need to do first? Okay. First, I should prob... Oh, and I have another postcard. Another picture of a pirate. I might have to save that for another page. Is probably Mod Podge this down so I can give that some time to dry. So I'm going to go find my Mod Podge. Or, you know what, I think I'm going to use Matte Medium on this. Matte Medium. Just brushing on the Matte Medium. And I'm going to lay this down right on top press it a little bit and then put some on the top as a protection because this paper is very old okay we have to let that dry and let's see I want just a little bit of a background for the last of the pirates. Let's see what else is in this Tim Holtz pad. Does it say what this is called? It's called Collage Mini Stash. I've got tickets. Ooh, we got New York. I can use that for something else. Something else I'm thinking of. We got clocks, music, bingo, old photos, music, 
pages. Ooh, that's nice. Look at those butterflies. Ooh, I like the map. That's a possibility. That's a possibility. Buttons and sewing items and more tickets. Printing letters, stamps, license plates. More travel. More travel. And more travel. Lots of travel stuff here. Clocks. Ooh, this is Paris. Hmm. Should we do the ocean? The ocean. That could work, right? Just like an old map. I rounded the corners with my We Are Memory Keepers corner punch. And because part of this has black on the edge, I just thought I'd put a little bit more black. You know, I usually don't distress with black, but I don't think pink will go on this page. Like that. I'm thinking about putting a little black on that paper, but this paper is so delicate. Gotta be careful. It's already a really nice color. I have all this paper and nothing needs to be tea dyed because it's already aged. Aged to perfection, just like me. like that. I think I need a new pad. Okay, I'm going to glue that on there. I'm glad you can't see the mess I have everywhere. Because it's the end of June and I have a great big pile of stuff over there. For Christmas in July, been collecting stuff. And I have another big pile of stuff I want to put in this journal, but I only have a couple more pages. So what I may have to do is do a little journal on the side while I'm doing my Christmas in July journal. And I didn't want to do two journals at once, but I think I'm going to. Okay, we've got that. And let's see, we have to put that on the page, which is still wet with matte medium. I think I'll just put that on there. Using my tacky glue. I bought this great big one at Walmart. It was a really good deal, but I haven't been able to find these 16 ounces lately. I thought I'd buy two smaller ones because that one's almost empty. Press 
this is down. Page is a little bit wrinkled, so we don't mind that. I like that. I like that. I didn't even check to see if it was straight. That's okay. Okay, now I gotta fussy cut the boy out. And look how serious he is. He's such a serious pirate. Got his sword. I think that's a He-Man sword. 1980s garb. And he is, even has a parrot for his shoulder. His pirate parrot. Okay, I'm gonna fussy cut. I'll be right back. I have some pirate stickers and ephemera that were gifted to me and there was this frame with the bones on it. It didn't quite fit around this whole picture so I cut it off with the skull down there. And As you can see I'm sitting here putting some black ink on it to make it look like it goes a little bit more with that picture and the skull was a little bit chewed up anyway because a cat got a hold of that and like the taste of it. All right, so I'm gonna glue this down here and we've got our pirate all cut out. And we're gonna put him over here with this other pirate looking over his shoulder, I think like that. And we'll stick this guy down in the corner. And let's see, I have some other things, but they don't look like they quite go with the page. So I may save these for another page. Um, treasure map. Hmm. Yeah, I can, I can make a treasure map on something else like this. Because I do have another pirate picture. And I have some other things that would look good there too. But can't put it all on one page. All right, I'm going to glue these down and then cut a background for this page over here. I decided to go with the same paper that I used on the background for this. Well, I didn't use a paper with an illustration, just a plain paper. And now I think I'm going to just make a centerpiece out of this and put the postcard on it like that. I might cut this down just a little bit and I want to have this flip got my address on the other side but I want to have this flip up so I can read the other side and I think these are just going to be two simple simple pages well, I'm trying to get this to stick down over here this little spots being stubborn but I sewed the plastic cover on I might have to add some glue to that after. I got glue on everything, of course. But, you know, if it's late and you're tired, you can still get a couple of simple pages done in your journal. Because any page that you do is so much better than all the pages you don't do. So I just want to wish everybody happy junk journaling. Thanks for coming along today.